got another exam question walkthrough for A Level Chemistry. So this is number 16 in the Enthalpy and Entropy playlist. And the question covers a Born Harbor cycle calculation and some ionization energy trends. Question suitable for all of the major exam boards. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So first thing I'm going to do is on the dotted lines add the species present, including the state symbols. So we're going to, just going to start here and we're going to have the elements there. So we need a mole of barium solid and we're going to react that with a mole of I2, which is a solid under standard conditions. So just be careful with that state symbol. They've populated this one. So what have they done here? They've atomized the iodine. They've turned it from that solid state into gaseous atoms. So we need to do the same with the barium. So we need a barium gas there. And obviously the two I stays as it is. Next thing we need to do is ionize the barium. So the first thing I'm going to create is the barium one plus ion. So Ba plus gas plus the electron that's removed, and there's those two I gaseous. They've done the second ionization energy for us, and now all we need to do is put those two electrons onto those two gaseous iodine atoms, and that is the electron affinity. So on here we need Ba2 plus gas, and two I minus gas. So that's everything there. So before we go into the actual calculation for the lattice enthalpy, we just quickly run through these numbers and where they're coming from. So this here is the enthalpy change of formation. And the next one is for the atomization of the iodine. And because we're generating two moles of gaseous atoms, uh, we need to double the um, atomization for iodine. Next one, atomization of barium. Next one, first ionization energy of barium. Next one, second ionization energy of barium. And then this one here, remember, we've just said is the um, electron affinity for the iodine, but because there's two moles of it, that's why we double that. And there's the uh, lattice enthalpy. So we're just calling that X for the purpose of the calculation. So the way I do these is I have a common start point, which is my elements. My common finish point is the lattice. And we have two routes to go from elements to the lattice. We can go down there, or we can go all the way round there. So that equals the sum of all of those. So I'll just quickly run through the calculation. So there's all those numbers there. Um, so that's the enthalpy change of formation, and that's everything added together for the other route. You can see within the square bracket, we've got all the numbers and that comes out at um, total in 1,270. So to solve for X, I'm going to take that over there and combine it with the minus 602. And that gives X, the lattice end that will be coming out at minus 1,872 kilojoules per mole. Moving on to part B, the um, ionization energy trends. So the first bullet point, I've already got my answer and I'll just quickly run through that. So why is the first ionization energy of magnesium greater than the first ionization energy of strontium? Well, magnesium's higher up group two than strontium, so it's gonna have a smaller atomic radius, or you could say it's got less shielding than strontium. And so therefore magnesium has a greater nuclear attraction for the outer electron. And then moving on to the second bullet point, explain why the second ionization energy of strontium is greater than the first. So any of these three is, is fine. The second ionization energy of strontium involves removal of an electron from an SR plus ion. Or you could say there's greater proton to electron ratio in the SR plus ion. Or you could say SR plus is smaller than strontium. And then obviously the second statement would be around nuclear attraction being greater in SR+. So I hope that was helpful. I've done hundreds of these exam question walkthroughs now on lots and lots of topics for A-level chemistry. There's just some of them on the screen, all in separate playlists, so please check those out. And if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel 
so you know exactly when I've made a new video. Okay then, cheers, bye.